Hello and welcome to this video which is all about how to install Skype. I thought I'd make this video to help everyone who struggles sometimes to install things off the internet. So this video is designed for people with very with a very basic understanding of how um, computers nowadays work and how to install programs for the internet. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to do to install Skype is go to the internet. Normally on a computer there will be a program called Internet Explorer. You open the program called Internet Explorer and you go to Google. That's a search engine that, that I'm sure you know about but what we'll do, you just type in www for the World Wide Web dot, we'll do the full stop, Google dot com. Com is the American one um, because I'm in Norway at the moment, it's going to jump to Norway, but that's fine. Okay, so now you should be at the search window in Google. All you need to do is type in Skype. S-K-Y-P-E. -E. So if you're in this video by now, I'm sure you know that Skype is a way to make free Skype internet calls or calls out or into Skype for very low amounts of money and it's particularly good if you live in different countries and have family in another. So the first result that we get for typing in Skype is www.skype.com. That is their homepage and all you need to do is click on that with a left click on the left button on your mouse. Click. And it will load. Just give it a second. Okay, so this is the Skype homepage. Um, we're looking at this in 2012, so I'm sure that this will change. Um, but not to worry, all you need to do, which I'm sure won't change very much, is look at the top. The top gives you all of the functions, all of the bits and bobs, which go within the website. And the one we're looking for is Get Skype. So in this circumstance, I'm using a Windows 7 computer. You may be well using any others. But as you can see, you can get Skype on many, many devices, um, Windows or Mac, Linux, including iPads, iPhones, and Android tablets as well. Android runs on mobile phones or tablets, and I, for instance, have Skype on my phone, on my mobile phone, so when I'm in a Wi-Fi zone, I can use Skype for free. So let's focus on installing Skype for Windows. So get Skype. For Windows. Click, left click. Okay, it brings us to another screen. Um, it gives you the option to install Skype for free, download Skype, or get Skype Premium. And as you can see, it gives you a few extra benefits. Um, but in this case, all we need to do is down, download Skype. So, what we can do is left click on download Skype. Okay, now it says thank you for choosing Skype. You're now downloading Skype to your desktop. Down and if that hasn't happened, if you don't get a window down the bottom, this window does change in between Internet Explorer and, and Chrome, which I use a lot. But nonetheless, they'll all go to the same place. So if that doesn't work, if, if you don't see something happening, you'd want to click on this, download hasn't started, and you'll try again in a different way. So it, it says, thanks for downloading. Down the bottom of the scheme, we say, do you want to run or save Skype.exe? Exe is an executable application from the Skype website, skype.com. So yeah, we want to run the installation. So first it's doing an internet scan. Um, so here we are, install Skype. Okay, so this is now a program running on your laptop. This is no longer the internet, so you can close down the Internet Explorer. Okay, so this is a program running on your computer. So English, select the language you want. There's lots of languages. I want English. Okay, and you agree to the terms and conditions, and of course, you're going to read those conditions, of course. You click I agree. Okay, now it's going to install Skype. It says this may take several minutes. Um, normally, on new computers, it doesn't take very long at all. Okay, so now um, Skype has now installed on the computer, and what we need to do is to either log in or create a new account. Now, in this video, what I'm going to do is I will walk you through creating a new account. Okay, it's very easy, and this you need to do this 
um, to log in and, and to access. So it's going to open Internet Explorer up again and it will take us back to Skype.com automatically. Okay, so now the website has loaded and it's and it's asking us for some information and I'll walk you through the information you need to put in. If you have a Facebook account and if you do, I'm sure you already know how to install Skype, but if you do, you can just click on that and it will pull the information from Facebook's databases and populate all the information below. So it's asking you for your first name, last name, email address, which you'll have to repeat to verify it, date of birth, gender, country, city, language, uh, your phone number, how you intend to use Skype, in this case probably personal, um, and a Skype username, which is the name you want people to see on Skype so they can find you and a password which you'll need to log in so when you log in to Skype your username and password will be these two things your Skype name and your password so you want to make sure and these two are right you probably need an email address um, so that when you create a profile it will send you that information there down the bottom it is a little box asking you to read to type in what you can see um, above you and it's as easy as that easy as that so what I'll do now is I will log in under my username and I will very quickly just walk you through some of the functions of how to make your first phone call over Skype okay okay so I've just typed in my username and password and this is the screen will come up. So here I am, this yeah. is me saying hello. Um, the first box it will bring up is this window here and this will tell you um, how to set, this will walk you through setting up the parts of your computer you need um, to make Skype work. The first thing you need is speakers. Okay, the speakers that will be built into your laptop. If you don't have a laptop, if you have a desktop, then um, you need to buy some speakers to go along with that. But I'm sure you have because you're listening to me now. <laughs> uh, so you can use those by testing the sound. And if you can hear that sound, that means that the speakers are working. The microphone. You can see here down the bottom is glowing, is flashing in green. That means that the system is picking up my voice. Sometimes you have multiple microphones in, in a computer and you need to pick the best one for you. If you're getting lots of um, echoes in the, in the video, then that means that you've, your, your microphone is picking up the sound from your speakers. So you need to turn the volume down on the speakers a little bit um, or put some headphones on or get a, 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 a um, microphone that will sit on your face or, or in front of you. In front of you. Um, so that's all looking good. In addition, your webcam. Um, sometimes you won't have a webcam and you can use Skype just for voice conversations. Um, I'd advise, I think the, the video conferencing is great. I use it all the time. Um, and sometimes computers have several different webcams and you just need to pick the right one so you can see yourself in this window. Okay. Click continue and it will take you through. You can take a picture of yourself. Um, this will be your use this will be your profile um, picture. So let's take a picture. And that's me. That's fine for me. You can try again if you want or you can use the picture. Okay, so here I am. You're all set up You've added all your friends, families, colleagues, and you're ready to start making voice or video calls. You are online. You see this little icon. Um, this shows that I'm online, the time, and where I am. Okay, so start using Skype. So here we are. Here are um, all of all of um, my friends, um, which I've imported from Facebook. This is the page that you'll see. Um, if you want to make um, phone calls, you can call some phones and it will bring up um, the screen in the middle which will allow you to talk, to call different countries with the phone numbers and, and you can get all the all of the um, all the rates down here. It will tell you what the prices are. For example, for me to call from Norway, to call England in, in 2012, it costs around about one pence a minute. 
which is which is okay. Um, you can see if people are online by the by the color of their tabs. Um, I've I've input all of my friends on Facebook, so if they have a question mark, that means that Skype doesn't recognize them as a Skype user. If they've got a green um, symbol, it means that they're offline. If the green symbol is colored in, then it means that that they are online. So here you can see um, some phone calls which are online, um, and it's as simple as that, really. Um, I hope you, uh, I hope you um, have managed to follow through um, the installation of Skype. It, as you can see, it's a fairly straightforward um, process, but there are many steps that you need to take. I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine. Good luck, and thanks for watching the video.